What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm the Greek here at the Luxury Technology Show in New York City. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to Fractal Design for providing us the means to get here. So sit back and relax, and let's start the show. <laughs> So as you guys know, LTS was the luxury technology show that I went to in New York City with Matt Philly, Sonya Ballistic, and Steven Tech Johnson. It was a lot of fun. And first and foremost, I need to thank Fractal Design for sending us out there. It was awesome. It was great. It was a lot of fun. Got to see a lot of things, meet a lot of people. So let's talk about my favorite things about this show. Now, in no particular order, we're going to start off with the thing that I liked the most, and this should come as no surprise to you guys, it was the Clio from Clearview. I love this product. It is amazing. I, that's, that's, that's it. It is an amazing product. It is a speaker that uses no speakers, and it uses piezos on the side of it to make the sound resonate up through the glass and vibrate the glass so that way you can have a 360 degree hearing radius I guess you could say and it is just amazing um, it's very simple it's very minimalistic and that's what I like about it uh, granted it is, it is expensive but what are you gonna expect it's new technology and it's just really 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 badass so if you're interested in this product there's gonna be links down below you can check it out and next on the list is Fugu no 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 not the fish the company because one will kill you and one will give you kick-ass audio. Now, what is Fugu? Fugu is a company and they make a durable, very, very durable uh, wireless Bluetooth portable speaker. And not only is it durable, but it is able to go anywhere and be in any kind of terrain. It is waterproof, it is dustproof, it is just awesome. And I really, really, really like it. They have two different models. They have the smaller one and they have the larger one. And they both have uh, at least 35 hours of battery life, if I'm not mistaken. And like I said, they're waterproof and they're they're drop they're drop proof. Uh, the demonstration that the guy did was amazing, and the fact that the CEO was there was pretty badass too. So uh, I'll put some more information down below. I'll put Matt's video and Steve's and uh, and Brian's video for the Fugu down below in the description. If you want to check that out also. So next on the list is the IO Hawk, and uh, the best way to describe this is basically it's a Segway but smaller. Uh, it doesn't have the actual the handlebars that the Segway does and it basically balances you on there and you move your feet slightly and it pushes you forward pushes you back it's pretty cool um, pretty expensive but you know new technology usually is and I would like this for one reason one reason only it's the ultimate like lazy guys tool basically have it sitting at the edge of my bed when I wake up and just stand on it and then just walk around my house and that would be amazing without walking. I think it would be pretty cool. Just don't share with it. Now, next up on our list is the Harman booth. Now, a lot of you don't know who Harman is, but you do at the same time. As Brian said in his video, um, Harman owns quite a bit of actual audio uh, companies. They own AKG, JBL, and those are basically the two big, big ones. Um, if you know anything about, about car audio, or if you're an audiophile, those are the two names you're gonna know, you're gonna, you're gonna recognize. Um, AKG makes really, really good headphones, and JBL is mainly car audio, and they do have speakers. Um, a couple of things that stood out me at the Harman booth was a little LED light up speaker, which was awesome, because not only can you use a speaker to charge your phone, but you can also use the LEDs there uh, because they go and they go with the sound of the music. And I thought that was pretty badass too. Now up next on this list should not be a surprise because this thing was everywhere. Everybody was talking about it. It is the Lamborghini 88 Tori, the $6,300 Lamborghini cell phone. Let's just let that sink in for a bit. A $6,300 cell phone. It's basically a reskinned uh, Note 4 with uh, a lot of really interesting features on the outside, I should say. Um, it's a really badass phone. If you own a Lamborghini, you kind of need to have this phone to go along with the whole Lamborghini motif. Um, but as, as an actual phone, it's actually pretty decent. It has a Snapdragon 801 processor, 3 gigs of RAM, 
20 megapixel uh, back facing camera and an 8 megapixel front facing camera. Uh, 64 gigs of RAM on the phone. You can expand it up to 128 gigs with an SD card. So it is a pretty decent device. Uh, for $6,300 though, man, I don't really think it's going to be anyone's price range just watching this video right now. But who knows? <laughs> and last but not least is definitely my some of my favorite things it's the cars that were there um oh man the cars uh first and foremost you had the bmw i8 and that thing is just beautiful uh it's just a it's just it's a really uh it grabs your attention this car you see it you know exactly what it is it was just badass it's an electric hybrid vehicle and it's just it's just a really nice car there's no way you can mistake it for any other car on the road awesome they also had an audi r8 there which was a convertible v8 version and r8s are just beautiful and there's really nothing bad you could say about an r8 except probably its price tag but you know it's a luxury show of course there's gonna be something there um and finally after that there was the lamborghini it's a two hundred fifty thousand dollar car though the most ex that's probably the most expensive thing at the show um and the funny thing about that car is that it was an actually working lamborghini it wasn't um it wasn't a gutted out version of the car. It was an actual working Lamborghini because I remember when we got there, they actually turned it on and that was, that was interesting. Who turns on a car inside? But you know, that's, <laughs> that is neither here nor there. All right guys, and that is it. That is my quick little overview and my recap of the luxury technology show in New York City. Again, I want to say thank you to Fractal Design for making this trip possible. Without them, none of this would have been possible. Also, I want to say thank you to Matt Philly, Sergeant Ballistic, and Stephen Tech Johnson, uh, all my friends that came out. It was it was awesome seeing you guys. It was awesome hanging out with you guys. I love you guys to death. And uh, definitely see more content from all of us in the future. Maybe we can get to more shows. Who knows? But, uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.